This small tutorial will tell you how to create your own custom SVG maps for Target and how to create them using Inkscape. SVG is for scalable vector graphics. Uh, it's the basic for these uh, area map chart and image chart types that you'll see in Target. You can create anything that could be maps, blueprints, charts, etc. You can use Adobe Illustrator called Draw Inkscape, but we'll be using Inkscape for this uh, demo. So this is what you need to do. First, find a suitable bitmap or drawing. Google it, find it on the internet, or get it from your graphics department. Create outlines, clean up the image, fill the areas. And these areas, which is also called paths, will, be, will have to be named according to your data. And once you've done that, you can save it and then start using that in Target. So here at first, uh, you can go and download Inkscape for free. Uh, for your whatever Windows version you got. Uh, so I recommend that you try that unless you have one of the other graphical tools. Here I made a Google search for uh, uh, school districts in uh, Ballarup in Denmark and I found a suitable image here which I simply downloaded and saved on my hard drive and then I went here into Inkscape to open that. So let's just go and open it. It's this one that I saved on my hard drive. And well, one of the first things I need to do here is to, well, use these outlines or maybe actually draw these outlines one more time. And first I'll show you the example of doing it by freehand. Uh, for that, I'll go here to use my freehand tool and I'll try to simply draw as carefully as possible around this border. Um, the more precise you are here, the less you'll need to uh, clean up the image afterwards and, and correct any uh, mistakes you may have made. So just uh, drawing that uh, outline there and make sure that you end at the same point. So you can actually see now that the uh, outline has been drawn here. Um, these paths, which they are called, can be uh, furthermore uh, fixed. First you need to look at the notes. Then you can, might go here, for example, to simplify the parts. It has way too many notes right at the beginning. But you can simplify them uh, once or twice uh, to get maybe done something like this. Now let's zoom in here and I'll show you that these notes like this one, which is a corner note, you can actually uh, relocate it and you can also determine the angles here uh, for, for each of these notes like I'm, I'm doing right here. So another corner up here, uh, which is not totally in the corner, that one, so you can make it a corner like that on that one too and also correct the angles so etc so eventually you'll end up with a an, an okay outline of that uh, school district and of course you have to do that for everything else now the background image itself um, while it's still there we don't really need that uh, when we look into target we just need to use it for creating these outline boundaries. So you can actually delete it and just have your boundaries, outline boundaries uh, uh, in as part of your SVG image. Now, I'll just close this one and I'll show you a different approach, a, a semi-automatic approach to getting to those outline boundaries. So again, I'll just open up the uh, PNG file, the bitmap file, this one, just uh, mark it up and then use an option here called uh, trace bitmap. And uh, once I do that, it will actually here try to locate these boundaries on the bitmap, like you see here. And uh, actually it does that quite okay, but of course you cannot be fully sure that it wouldn't pick up any noise like I think it's a railway road line, a railway line in the middle there and also the names of the, of the school districts. So you may want to go here and then clean up these things. So I'll just zoom in here and again 
having a look at all the notes, you can then make a multiple selection to, for example, get rid of that school name. Uh, these railway line dots can also be re re removed in a similar manner. And well, let's have a look up here um, where maybe some parts of your names of the railway line is actually crossing uh, the boundaries that you actually want to keep. Maybe first reboot the school name here. Let's zoom in. And for example, just re to remove that, just, just highlight it. But over here, you see something that is overlapping the line. And then again, you may need to use these note tools to correct the position and correct the angle so you get a, a proper uh, boundary like that. All right, uh, so there will be quite some work to do uh, if you have to do it in this semi-automatic way as well. So I'll just open one where I actually did clean up all of these things. So that will end up with an um, image like this. These are still just the boundaries and we don't really need the boundaries in, in the map that we're going to use in target. Instead, we're going to use the areas. So what I'm going to do now is to use this fill tool here to fill the areas with a, a, a default background color. And usually I just pick a gray one here, but of course it can be any color. So I just fill in these uh, areas, uh, five areas in total. And the next thing I need to do is actually to remove my uh, outline boundaries. Um, so what I did here, oops, sorry, uh, I wanted not to click the area, but <laughs> I'll try again. Uh, to click the outline boundaries, uh, which I did there, and then I simply hit my delete button to delete it. So now we just got these five areas. And each of these five areas are also called paths. And you can see the path IDs over here. And now we just need to make sure that these path IDs is actually something that we can recognize. So for example, the name of that path area uh, was called the Hidegara School. So I want to type that in here uh, as the ID and usually also as the path. And remember to set it and then Let's take another one here. This one is called a skull on the skull. And just put in the ID and the, the, the label as well here. And of course you have to do that for every single of, of these uh, paths that you've got in your SVG file. Now, I've done that already. So I'll just open an SVG file where I actually also already put in all of these IDs and labels. So as you can see here, I uh, put IDs and labels on every single one of my five paths. So this is actually the, the completed uh, SVG file. And of course that one just needs to be saved. Once you've saved it, you can then go and start up your target client and um, create an object uh, for, for such an SVG map. So I'll just create a new analysis. At first, uh, let's just do a cross tab here. Actually, I pulled in some, or created some data resembling a number of pupils, this one. Uh, that's my measure. And I will be able to look that up for each of my school districts uh, within this um, city of Ballarat. Um, now I'll change the object type to this area map chart and we'll need to go into chart properties for that. And uh, on my uh, chart tab up here, I can then change the map. I don't want to use any of the existing system maps, but I want to actually add another custom map. So that's the SVG file I just created. And now it's been added, edit locations. We can try the auto map uh, function here, which actually maps three of the school districts. The last two was not map, and that's due to the Danish characters in these names. Uh, I can have a look there and see, okay, that's where I should place that one, and the other one goes there. And then we need to save it and click OK. So now we're actually looking at this SVG map uh, used as an, um, map area chart. Labels, 
we just added that <clears throat> and maybe we'd like to maybe change the color scale here uh, I'm going to use a color agent for that where I'm going to add one of these color scales uh, predefined color scales now this one if I just change that a little bit it can be a you know a common red to green color scale like that so that's it SVG files in target